So basically we'll start with visual hallucinations. Um, for those of you who are having problem with seeing like the monsters and different things as far as like snakes and roaches, I've always had to kind of check to make sure they were really there or not and my biggest ones I feel them under my skin. Um, when you kind of get like that, what may help is if you start touching the area, you feel them, okay? That's helped me. I don't know if that'll help you or not. Um, one thing as far as if you're seeing stuff on the ground, first rationally think, okay, if there, we're going to use the example of, let's say, roaches. If there's roaches on the ground, does it really matter? Okay, if they're coming at you or something, do, is that really going to affect? So if you're watching TV, is that really going to affect anything? And that's just kind of, I've gotten used to just ignoring the stuff because if it doesn't, how is it going to affect me? And a lot of the times with those type of hallucinations, they'll almost kind of leave you alone or you'll get to the point where you're so used to them that for me, it helps me realize, okay, they're not really there. Mine is snakes. I had an issue with snakes the other day seeing them, but I had to actually be like, okay, wait a second. Regardless of whether there's a snake or not, and I was outside and I saw many of them, that's the other clue. If there's usually more than one, <laughs> whatever it is, it's probably not really there. That's how I could tell it's a hallucination. But I also had to kind of be like, okay, they're just there, they're moving, but they aren't bothering me. Okay? So I was able to pretty much ignore them, and before I realized that they had gone away. When it comes to being actual monsters in the room, um, those used to be the worst for me, and part of it was just getting used to them always being there and the fact that mine didn't move okay they just hang out so when they just hang out like that and kind of like with the snakes are they bothering me a lot of them i think get under people's skin as far as the thought that they want to hurt them um and we'll get to audio ones talking about that later but mine they just kind of hang around me and i just once i realized they can't hurt me they bug me, they bother me, they make me feel insecure, but they can't hurt me. And I guess years of kind of finally being able to accept them, now I see them all the time and they just, they don't even phase me. I'm able to like go to work and have them, I'm able to like drive in the car and they don't even phase me because they're just kind of like having a little buddy there. So <laughs> that's one thing with those type. Again, and this is going to be, please be very careful, you know, use your own judgment on this kind of stuff. But for me, it's also been able to walk over to them and try and touch them. I know some of you, that's not even going to ever be an option. But that helped me a lot with actually walking over and trying to touch them and stuff. That did kind of help me break down that fear. Okay? Was whether, and some of them I can and can't touch. But being able to actually, like, physically go towards them, that took out a lot of the fear I had inside. Now, visual hallucinations of people you know, um, try and have conversations. I know a lot of you guys struggle. I've actually never really had that happen. But those of you who do, and I know that, I, I can't even imagine like what that has to be like to be visually hallucinating people. When my grandmother has Alzheimer's, she would see my grandfather and have conversations with him. And... Because that's not something I've ever experienced, I don't really know like if asking certain questions will help, you know, make them seem real or not, or if you just kind of have to learn when they're not. So if any of you guys could give us any like clues or stuff, leave it in the comments or send me an email and I'll try and do a follow video that maybe we can discuss how to tell whether those people real are real or not. So please, I, yeah. Okay, audio hallucinations. First... The kind I hear is like constant ticking, snapping, um, nails on a chalkboard, clickings and stuff. And I didn't even realize it until a year ago that I could do something about it. And that was just, I bought a fan for my room just because it was hot. And the fan was super annoying and loud. I got it from Walmart for like $20 and it was like the loudest annoying fan. It constantly hums. But what I realized was that when the hum was on, it canceled out all the ticking and the hallucinations. And I just, I've, I've always been the kind of person who likes to sleep with the quietness. But even whispers, um, sometimes I hear low murmuring or like a radio's on in the background of my head. The fan canceled it all out. So for those of you who have any audio hallucinations, again, please be careful. And if your hallucination is humming, why? I don't know what to tell you. But I would try something like a fan or even, I don't know, like maybe a... Not a radiator, a de dehumidifier that kind of runs, something with like a constant running. The fan worked for me because even if it's colder, I just kind of tilt it away from me. And I've been doing that for a year, and since then I sleep 
so much better because even when I wake up in the middle of the night, if I turn off the fan, I'll still hear the noises like kind of in my head, but the fan just cancels it out. Now, if the hallucinations are talking hallucinations, I don't have those, so I don't know if that'll help. One of my friends, we were talking about it, and she had said sometimes, like, really loud, um, like, she would have the uh, rainforest things on, and she says sometimes if that was really loud, it helped her, or sleeping with music on. Again, I don't know. I would definitely try the fan to see if that can kind of drown out the talking, or, yeah, try music on at night. Me, I can't take music because if I wake up and I'll get confused at what I'm listening to. So just be careful with the music or, yeah, anything with other... You don't want to um, overstimulate yourself with more voices talking, whether it's like an audio recording or something. So just, yeah, you'll be... Uh, any of the, you guys who have um, ideas about that, put it in the comments. Um, and, of course, as always, anyone who's having problems... Um, I know a lot of the voices can be very angry and very violent and screaming never listen to them always remember that while you're not necessarily in control they are they are inside of you so it is part of you okay now i know reasoning with them isn't going to help but this i mean if you're out there and you're not seeing a doctor or a counselor or something i would highly suggest looking into that even um and always be careful. I'd say local churches, but you never know what you're going to get with local churches. But a lot of religious groups do offer free counseling. Um, I do a Google search and see what's in your area or local mental health facilities. Or even just start with the local hospital. Or um, I went to like the doctors around me and tried to just get like pamphlets. And most none of the ones near me even had pamphlets on the stuff. So... If you got somewhere you can go, check, see if there's any pamphlets. If not, most mental health care facilities will have something like they can give you to take outside the door with you. Um, also, in the info section below in this video, I will have a couple links that you can look through and maybe see what you can find. Um, some other hallucinations, just want to run over. Smell hallucination. <laughs> that one sucks, okay? And I know in my blog recently I talked about it and some people like didn't even believe me because I... I've only had it a couple times, but uh, any of you guys with some crazy stories on those, put them down there because I, I find that to be the most interesting hallucination. But as far as dealing with those, I don't know because mine have been so rare. Um, the times I've had it, it was like a violent hand grabbed me and it smelled like death. And I don't know, it just, mine went away. So anyone who's like struggling with having it constant, I, I don't know. I mean, I thinking like maybe you know just constantly getting I don't know I'm really hooked on fans but maybe like even trying like the fan or like you know air blowing against you I wonder if that would help like said so with me when I the few times I struggle with the smell hallucination I usually have to get away from whatever room I'm in and if the smell follows me I usually know that it's a hallucination um of course things like if you're at work you know or school or like some place where you can't just get up and leave. I don't know what to tell you on that. Like I said, maybe if you had like a little fan or something. I'm real quick, especially if people ever see me like grabbing my face, it's usually one's hit me. But I can usually step out of the room. A lot of times I'll say I have to go to the bathroom. And if it follows me, I'll calm down and be like, okay. Or I may have BO. No, I'm kidding. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> um, and the last one are tactile hallucinations. Um, and those of you I know who are struggling with like feeling pain and stuff and... I can't even begin to imagine what it's like for some of you guys. I know I, I had a friend who his nerves, it felt like they were splitting apart in his hands. And what it, he had told me that helps was he'd rub his hands together whenever it started because it was almost like kind of canceling out that the sensation he was feeling in his head to actually feel something else. And he'd like rub his pants legs and stuff. So if any of you guys have the tactile hallucinations and can give us suggestions. Please do. I've never, like I said, really had those other than like the itching and feeling things crawling. And with me, I feel it a lot in bed and I'll just have to get up and walk around the house till it stops. You know, and that's not really the best because it'll come right back. But it helps me break the constantness of it, you know, to just kind of get out of that situation and then come back. And if it picks up, it picks up. But sometimes it'll break it and I'll be able to calm down, go back to sleep. And last... The thing that has helped me the most, and everyone always like trips out when I tell them this, because I, and those of you who've emailed me know I always suggest this, 
The biggest help to me with my hallucinations has always been my dog. I love and some people will be like, Rachel, that's crazy because whenever I get scared or I see stuff, a lot of the times if she doesn't react to it, obviously not really there. Um, and just having her around me, email I got recently was talking about someone who couldn't be alone anymore because the hallucinations, the talking in their head had gotten so bad. But when they had an animal with them, they didn't seem to bother them as much. Almost as if like just a human they didn't bother as much. They also didn't bother as much with the dog. So I would suggest, I know it's hard to go out and get a dog. I just got a sweet little fluffy thing that makes me happy. So I would totally suggest trying that. I guess cats work. I don't know. I'm not a cat person. But maybe some type of animal that you can physically touch and hold. And my dog sleeps with me. And the past three or four years, I've had Twinkle. Amazing difference in me. And she's the best little, best little friend ever. Well, I'm Rachel Starr. If you have any questions, um, email them to me. Uh, down there, please put anything in the comments. And we want to be able to like find each other and help each other out with this stuff. So please, any stories you got um, or any suggestions, you can email them to me because I'll also be updating them in my blog at rachelstarlive.com. All right, I'm Rachel Starr. Thank you very much. Bye, guys. Yeah. Okay. But that means he's recording. And then I just, well, we don't, all, right now all I have is your boobs. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Good? Yep. I think we're good.